what I've got here is a Morgan Monroe MNB5 banjo in case, got it from banjo.com in America. Finally, joining me in England, so uh, I'm going to crack it open and have a look. Best way to go about this. Let's go in here. Careful not to don't wanna ruin anything inside of it. Um here yeah, we'll carry on down this way. Oh um let's go this way. There's, there's tape. Well, there's tape. There's an opening. Oh, I'm going to hack off a bit of hand. Right. Ooh. Okay, let's go down here. Okay, I think this might be the, the way in. Let's move this big thing. It's quite heavy. Though I have been, uh, I've heard that it's quite a heavy banjo, so... Proper tone ring on it. Makes for improvement. The last banjo I have doesn't didn't have one. Ah. Is good. Looks like it was uh, all wrapped up nicely. Bubble wrap. There's the case. Feels nice. Right. This is a bit where I might have to put the camera down. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, that's really nice. Looks like it's going to say Morgan Monroe on it, which would be cool. Move that knife before I lose some fingers. Can't play banjo without any fingers. Right. Oh yeah, that's really cool. Oh man, that's nice. Move this up here. Yeah, this is this is pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> the bed's not long enough. Oh, I really don't want to drop it. There we are. That right. Anything else? Do you think there's anything else in there? Uh, boxing all right. This is where I hope I don't have a four string or a tenor banjo. That'd be awkward. Right. Flick it open. First time I get to see it. Oh, I would if I realised there's another latch. No. What is it? What's it now? Oh, this is a very secure case as it would transpire. Oh no, this is so nice. Look at the inlays. Maybe if I can zoom in a bit. It's a bit dark, I'm obstructing. Look, look at this as well, that's lovely. Velvet. This is the uh, head. Tuned up nicely. Lovely tailpiece. Um, Remo head. If that would focus, that'd be nice. There we go. That ring tells me that something might have moved in shipping, but here it is. No, oh, that's annoying. There's no fifth string spike, so I'm going to have to get that done. Just want to mess about with uh, capos. Then never as easy as you think. Um, right. Let me look at the neck. Of the oh, it's convenient. Um. Basically, the reason I oh, the reason I got this banjo was one of the main reasons was because look at that you can't see it, but it's beautiful. I've never been a fan of the uh, the maple resonators, and this um, oh, it's amazing. It, it has the look and the feel of a banjo of of a banjo of a great, much greater worth than this one is. I still can't go over the lovely case for it. Morgan Monroe. That. Lovely and the velvet. Red velvet. That's great. So anyway I'll have to um probably mess about with the bridge for a bit and tune up. Then uh give you a little demo. Right, well I've um I've tuned it up. It's beginning to sound banjo like. Um I've also put a strap on, soldier strap, Chicago, 
very stylish, very snazzy. I like it. it goes well with the banjo, I think. Um, yes, that's actually. You know, time to look at the things I didn't look at as closely before that people might be interested in. So one would be the the engraved armrest, very nice. Uh, just in case you didn't see, it was a. Ooh, let's get some focus on here. Remo Weather King. Uh, the bridge is probably, I'd say, the weak point of the banjo. This is rosewood. Um, so I'm planning probably to buy a different bridge. Um, sounds fine like it is though. Uh, another thing was actually probably the thing that sold this banjo for me um, was this this uh, beautiful inlay. It's great, and and the head as well. The head is it look it wouldn't look out of place on a a banjo sort of it wouldn't look out of place on a banjo so much much higher in value. Um, and while well, we were on the subject of value, I, it was actually reduced uh, uh, reduced at Banjo dot com because the the original price was six hundred and seventy four dollars. I believe it was five hundred and forty nine. I think it's pretty good value. So I'm gonna have a whirl, um, have a play on it. Um, I might have a go on the old one as well. This is my sort of cheap beginner's one, but um, I think I might have a go on it. I'll forgive me. I am a beginner, but um, I might we'll see what I can do. Much heavier than the last banjo I had. This does have a full tone ring, and that's a heavy tone ring. Um, okay, right here's just a if I to strum it. It's got great tone. Like it a lot. Um, automatically. It's a little card that says this instrument is strung with Diodario strings. So that's, a, that's another great thing about it is that uh, where I'd normally be, I was planning on thinking of going out and getting some new strings in it, but it's already got good strings in it, then I don't need to. Um, I think they're light gauge strings. They feel like it. <laughs> 